Welcome back to the Nerd Bench, friends. Check this out. I have a table full of new stuff today. There's been some new product announcements, and we're going to take a quick look at both of them. Uh, the Quick Run Series 120 got an update. This is a fully waterproof sensorless setup, and then the Easy Run Max 5 got HV and the G2 update. So now it's censored. It's still waterproof. It always has been, and it goes up to 12S. We'll talk about that guy first and go over some of the basics. I do want to apologize. I only have one hand right now. I had gotten into a, like a little motor motorcycle accident broke my clavicle hurt my spine a little bit so it's not that bad i could still move around but uh, i only got one hand for the show today and even getting these big heavy things onto the table was a trick so we're going to slide uh, the quick run out of the way and talk about this new update for the hv max 5 series as well as the motors there are going to be three new motors altogether, uh, 650 kV, 850 kV, and then one more that's an 1100 kV. And like I said, the speed control is rated for up to 12S. It goes 6 to 12S, and the motors are not all the same. The 1100 is only rated for 6 to 8S, and these two guys, the 800 and the 650, are rated for up to 12S. And they're also huge. These are a 56 millimeter diameter by a 118 millimeter length. That's what the numbers on these motors motors actually stand for is the diameter and the length and you see kvs are marked on there and as i said before these are fully censored waterproof systems we have the unique hobby wing waterproof censored harness that makes this all a very happy camper in all conditions you see there it's got the huge i think they're eight millimeter plugs if i'm not mistaken you can tell because they're the same diameter almost as the motor shaft so maybe eight and a half and when you squeeze them down but these do have the huge eight millimeter shafts um, all of the hard specs for these are going to be down in the link below so that you can get all that information. I do have my best friend in the whole wide world, the calipers. We'll throw that guy on here. Make sure we get these guys just right. And you see there's seven. Oh, that's 7.2. That's probably not accurate. Let's, let's wiggle it. Much closer today. So yeah, they're eight millimeter. But yeah, they're eight millimeter bullets. Uh, comes with gigantic, I believe this is 8 gauge wire. Yeah, it's 8 gauge wire and it's set up uh, with no plugs on it is how I got my samples. Uh, these are all pre-production samples, so yours may not look exactly like these, but this is what I've been uh, working with for the most part. I do have one of these installed into my X-Max and um, it's the 1100, so I only ran out of 8S and it rips. Like it's 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 ridiculous. I, I don't know how people want those trucks faster, if I'm honest. Like it seems kind of dangerous for the most part. Um, the Max 5 got the HV tree and it's about the same size as the previous Max 5. It's a little bit wider um, one-handed in this dimension, and it's a little bit tall. It's just basically a, a slightly larger in all directions. Like I said, I'll have the hard specs for that uh, in the link below so you can see the actual case sizes. But for the most part, wherever the old Max 5 fit, I don't see why this wouldn't fit. It's like maybe a millimeter or two bigger in each direction. So right now these are listed as uh, sold out, which because because we don't have them in stock yet, but they are on the way and you should be able to do the pre-orders and all that fun stuff coming up pretty quick here. Uh, just check at hobbywingdirect.com for all the information. All right, up next, the update to the Quick Run BL series. The Quick Run series has been a great, very cost-effective combo in our lineup and it was we have a censored version of a 120 this is the censorless version and it comes with two new size or well two new motors in the quick run series these are all g2 rated now or a g2 series for generation two and it, you see it's the classic quick run series very uh, i guess you'd say cost effective and friendly this is going to kind of step in where the old max series did based on the specs that i'm seeing uh the speed control is stated at a two to four s rating but the motors depending on the kv are only going to be two to three s the way that they come but like a lot of systems a little over voltage on the speed control goes a long way uh, like I said, these are going to be available in combos with two different size motors, the 3652 or the 3660. These are like 540 or 550 size. Again, the, the numbers being the size. So it's a 36 millimeter diameter by a 52 millimeter length. And this is a 36 millimeter diameter by a 60 millimeter length. Uh, the normal 540 size or the 3652s are going to have the, the standard uh, eighth, millimeter, or eighth inch shaft, rather. And the, these guys are going to have the, the heavy duty five inch or five millimeter, sorry. So these, these do have the four millimeter bullet plugs for the motor wire and on the speed control um, just like the max five they have a dedicated program port um, something i didn't talk about before but the quick run series is going to work with the led program card uh, that is the one that has the red numbers it looks like this 
The sticker may not match the new settings that the speed control has, but it's going to come with the instruction manual that has a chart that'll talk about all that. So if you do want to do like setting changes and stuff like that, do yourself a favor, get one of these guys. Nice thing about the Max series, the, the heavy duty stuff, they also work with the, the, the cost effective box as well, but the Max series will also do the OTA as well as the LCD box if you already have one of those. Quick run only works with that LED box. So there's going to be three different 3652 motors, uh, three different KVs rather. Uh, one is a 50 6600 kV for the, the super go fast folks. Uh, next would be a 4000 kV if you're looking for a 2S or a 3S. And then the uh, 3250 kV is more for if you're going to run full time 3S. The 5600 kV definitely 2S only. The uh, 4000, I'm more of a fan for those to be 2S only, but they are rated for up to 3S. And the 3250 is going to be for the kind of heavy duty 3S applications uh, if you're using the smaller size motor, of course. The KV, if you didn't know, and this is the first time you checked one of these out, is the RPM rating of the motor. The higher the KV, lower the voltage. In, in the 3660 series, we're going to have two different KVs. Uh, one is a 3150 KV, the other is a 3700 KV. And both of those are going to be 2S to 3S rated motors. And uh, these guys are all sensorless, like I said, so they're fully waterproof. And they will work with, you know, this will run other motors. It doesn't have to be the quick run motors. It's just like any other sensorless speed control for the most part. Just like with the Max, we're going to have a link in the description that has more of the hard information for you so that you can find out all the sizes, ratings, all that fun stuff. Um, one thing to note, though, as we've touched on here, you've seen the motors have different voltages than the speed controls. And a lot of times you run into a situation where folks say, my speed control is rated for 4S. I want to run this motor on 4S that it came with, that's not really the case. If you have a motor and a speed control, whether it be a combo that comes together or you pick them up individually, you have to go off of the lower of the voltage specs between the two items. So if the motor is rated for only 2S, like a 5600, you can only use a 2S, even if the speed control is rated for 3 or 4S type of deal. It's just not going to work out. It's too much KV for that type Thanks of Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you do have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com, and we'll be happy to help you out. If I forgot any of the links down there, shoot us an email. We'll get you that link right you away. But we also do a podcast. It's called RC Stuff, powered by Hobbywing. You can find it on your favorite podcast service. We give away a brand new system each and every episode. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. I'm sure that we'll be giving away some of these new combos real quick here. And uh, just real quick, I do... This is a little short. If it's a little brief, if I miss a bunch of stuff, I do apologize. It's been a hectic couple days for me. Uh, the, the show itself is being recorded late. It's being edited late. It's being posted late. I think this is not going to be up on a Tuesday. And uh, I've been sticking to the new every Tuesday for a long time. But uh, a busted clavicle and a fractured spine really threw me for a loop. It's nothing like super serious. They told me that it's all going to heal, but it's just an uncomfortable deal. Moving stuff around has been tricky, even like just getting the camera going and being able to use the mouse. And of course, it's my le I'm a right handed person and my I, my right hand is incapacitated. So I have to do everything with my left. And that's been super fun to email and use a mouse and all that. So I appreciate everybody's patience. We're going to jump back into these seriously and deeply in the future once I get everything sorted out and get some footage of these guys in operation. I have been using uh, one of these and one of these in my tr in my rigs that I run over the Peacock Pit. I have a Bandit that I've got one of these in with the 3660 and, oh no, no, it's, I'm sorry, it's a 3652 4, uh, 4000 kV that I run in that and it rips. It's great, fun little two-wheel drive rig. And I have an X-Max that I've ran just a little bit with one of these. I'm not going to lie, I've only done a few kind of passes with it because it's just too fast. Like that thing's a beast. But I appreciate your patience, everybody, and uh, I'm on the mend. I've got lots of good friends in the area that have been taking good care of me and checking in on me, so I appreciate all the, the reaching out from all my buddies. Thanks, Kyle. I appreciate it, buddy. And uh, as always, folks, thanks for tuning in. Another edition of The Charlie Show right here on the Hobby Wing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time. <laughs>